just in case. What, what am I doing with my hands here? We don't know. <laughs> oh, just casually getting these off my shelf. All right, yeah, let's just, moving along. Today we are going through nine things that you should always bring with you when you're doing a day hike. These are essentials. Essentials. <laughs> Packing for a day hike can be tricky because you wanna make sure that your pack is light, but at the same time, you know you need to be prepared just in case something goes wrong and you end up stranded on the mountain for longer than you anticipated. So what should you pack so you're prepared and have peace of mind on the mountain? What size pack should you bring? What types of snacks do you need? How much water should you bring? And what are the other pieces of gear that will help you to be prepared on the mountain with extra peace of mind? So in today's video, we're gonna go through all the things that you'll need to bring to be prepared for your day hike and in case of emergencies just in case first things first one of my favorites nutrition <laughs> When you're hiking, you want to make sure that you bring nutrient-dense foods, things that can stick to your bones and actually fuel your body to get up and down the mountain. Generally, you don't want to steer too far away from your normal everyday diet. When you're hiking, that's not the time to try some new foods. The last thing you want is to feel sick up on the mountain away from the everyday conveniences that we are used to. Make sure it's foods that you actually enjoy and will look forward to eating. Life is too short to just be sucking down trail mix and be jerky unless you love trail mix and beef jerky then sure go right ahead I'm just saying if that's all you're bringing because that's the stereotypical food don't do that a general rule of thumb is to bring enough food to last one day longer than you're planning on hiking so if you're planning on just going for one day I'm not saying you should pack your whole pantry let's not get excessive you should have some extra food on hand just in case something goes wrong next thing Hydration. Hydration is so key when you are hiking. In case you didn't know, you can survive for weeks without food, but only two to three days without water. A general rule of thumb is for a typical adult to have two cups of water for every one hour that they are hiking. And if you haven't looked into electrolytes, make sure you look into that as well. Electrolytes are a big part of hydration. There's plenty of ways that you can get your electrolytes in with different types of drink mixes. They also have like little slimes and different things that way. If possible, bring something for backup whether that be a water filtration system, a life straw, water purification tablet, just something that just in case desperate times come around, you have some things you're prepared. All right, next is just some insulation and layers. So layers are meant to help keep you warm, dry, and comfortable. Mm -hmm. Depending on the day and the weather that you have ahead, you'll want to bring different types of layers. We're out here, it's raining like crazy. But I always recommend, even on the clearest, hottest days, having something in your bag that you can throw on. I highly recommend you have some type of wind or light rain jacket to help protect yourself from the elements. And I especially recommend that you bring an extra pair of socks because if you step into something wrong and your feet get wet or maybe muddy, there is nothing in your bag that will help you to be more comfortable without being able to switch out your socks. So that is a great tip. All backpacks are not created equally. I tell you this with 100% certainty because I had an awful one for years. I personally use this Osprey Daylight Pack and I highly recommend it. It has a few key features that I think you should look for. The first one is a breathable backspace. Osprey designs their backpack so it doesn't lay directly on the entire surface of your back. We've all been there at the top of a hike where you see the guy that has just sweaty back to the max. If you have a good backpack, it can help prevent that, okay? Pockets and storage, I'm telling you, it goes such a long way when you have a way to keep your stuff organized so you know exactly where to find it when you're ready. I personally don't use a water bladder when I'm doing just the shorter day hikes. It's not until I'm going into the longer hikes that I prefer to use a water bladder and that's truthfully just personal preference, but this does have the capability to use a water bladder. So if that's something that you enjoy using, make sure that you look for that. All right, next, hiking footwear. There are so many different types of hiking footwear to choose from. It really depends on the type of hiking you are planning to do. Truthfully, there's pros and cons to each type and a lot of it comes down to personal preference. The number one thing that I can recommend is at a minimum, make sure that your hiking footwear is made for hiking. I promise it makes a difference. I personally prefer the Solomon Speed Cross 5s. I purchased these a few years ago and I have been absolutely obsessed and highly recommend them. They've held 
up so great over time. When you're looking for hiking footwear, here's a few key features that I recommend. Traction, breathability, comfort, and kind of cushion. The weight of the shoe, ain't nobody wanna be honking around in some heavy shoes, you know? Some type of water resistance can go a long way. And also make sure you look for good support and stability. Next thing is illumination. It does not matter if you are planning on going just in the day. I highly recommend that you always bring some type of headlamp or light with you just in case. There's so many scenarios where something happens where I've ended up getting down much later than I anticipated. And so just having that headlamp gives you a little bit more peace of mind. That way you don't feel as rushed and panicked if something comes up while you're on the mountain. Next is some type of first aid or emergency kit. I personally recommend that you bring moleskins and make sure you have some band-aids, maybe some ointment. Know how to use everything in your first aid kit. If you don't know how to use it, that's not gonna be as helpful when you are up on the mountain. One of the things that I keep in my bag, don't judge me, it still has the Amazon barcode, is just this emergency sleeping bag. So you can see, tiny. <laughs> Doesn't take up a lot of space, but having this in my bag just gives me that extra little peace of mind, and I know that if something were to happen, I'd be a little bit more prepared. <laughs> Next is sun protection. So make sure you bring your hats, your sunscreen, and your chapstick. Trust me, your skin will thank me later. Next thing to look for is navigation. You wanna make sure that you have a map or potentially an app or something that can help you to determine where you are on the mountain and make sure you know where you are headed. I personally use and love the All Trails app. This is not sponsored. This is my personal recommendation after years of using it myself. One of the features that I personally love, especially when I'm hiking alone, is you're able to download a map that then you can use while you're out on the mountain, even if you lose service. And I love that because there's been multiple times where I'm doing a new hike, I'm not familiar with the trail, and I've ended up off trail slightly. And you can see on the map when that's the case. It's been so helpful for me. So there you have it. There are my nine day hiking essentials. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Do you agree with my essentials? Are there things that I forgot? If you enjoyed this video at all, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, that helps the YouTube algorithm to know that this video was helpful for you. And it blesses me by putting this video in front of other people that might get some benefit from it as well. So thank you so much for watching. I picked out another couple of videos that I think you might enjoy here and I'll see you soon in my next video. Dun, 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 dun.